Hey everybody, I've gotten a few questions about the document camera and how to properly connect it to um, either your Brightlink projector or your Promethean board. And I kind of wanted to take you through some of that. So I'm going to start you off with just the basics of getting your uh, document camera all set up. Your dot cam comes in your mystery box and it usually comes generally like this. Um, the side that you want to pull out is this. This is the head of the projector. And the arm is super flexible, and you can put it pretty much however you want it to go. The, uh, the orientation of it does matter uh, depending on what device you're connecting it to. But in general, I just kind of set it up in a way that is going to make sense for me. I'm right-handed, so I'm going to put it on the right-hand side of my computer and have that be like that. The second part of that that you need is something to connect it to the other device. So for that, you need your USB cable. The USB cable that you need to use for the document camera comes in a little baggie with the instructions that's also in your mystery box. The USB cable has a normal end and a weird end. The weird end is going to go into the camera. This um, is a special kind of USB connector. It looks similar to the other kinds of weird ends of USB connectors, except that it's a little bit bigger, it's a little bit taller. Um, you want to make sure that this USB connector stays with the document camera. They're not interchangeable. So you want to make sure that this one is going to stay with the document camera. So you're going to plug the funny looking end into the back or the side of the document camera, which is right here. And you're going to plug the other end into your computer. So we're going to start off by me demonstrating how you're going to project this to your Brightlink projector. To do that, you're going to need your computer, like I said, so you're going to want to have this plugged into your computer. So it's now plugged into my computer, as you can hear the fun sounds there. On your computer, a program has been installed or will be installed very shortly called Sphere 2. It's kind of a weird name, but that's the name of it. Sphere 2 is the program that you're going to want on your computer, uh, and that's what you're going to use to manipulate your document camera. When you are, and you can kind of see this in the camera, when you open up Sphere 2 and your, and your um, document camera is connected to the computer, you're going to see that it's projecting the image. Now to make sure that it's set up the right way, you want to put a piece of paper underneath that might have some writing on it. You want to make sure that it is facing the correct way. On the computer, if it's not facing the right way, which in this case it is facing the right way, um, if it's not facing the right way, on the side of your document camera, you've got an orientation button. And if you press the orientation button, it's going to flip it around. You can see that flipping around in the picture there. You're just going to flip it around until it makes sense, and it's up straight up and down like you would expect. Okay, so now that is correct, so that's good to go. Now, with the document camera connected to the computer, to display this up on your projector, you're going to want to connect your computer to the projector. You can see the previous video for how to connect your computer to the projector, um, but you're going to follow the same process. Just make sure that the dot cam is connected to the computer. Um, most teachers, what I've been seeing setting up in their classrooms has been this is going on the mobile cart that adjustable stands up and down. Um, so I would recommend that you do that along with the device that you, um, along with the um, laptop. So the next step I'm going to show you is I'm going to show you how to connect it to your Promethean board. Um, and do a very similar thing. It's actually really, really simple with Promethean board, so just hang on one second, and I'm going to switch over to that and show you what that's all about. Okay, so with the document camera and the Promethean board, the process is very similar. Um, it, you just don't need that intermediary computer device because you have basically a computer built into the Promethean board already. Because it's basically a very large Android tablet, it has built-in software that will recognize that the document camera is in fact a camera and it will display it as like a webcam, how you do like webcam like for Zoom meetings or Google Meets or things like that. So what you're going to first want to do is you're going to want to take your document camera, set up like we did before. It's connected already to the USB cable here. So you've got the USB cable here. You've got some inputs on the front of your Promethean board. You've got a blue USB aux connector. You're not going to plug it into that one. The next one you have is a black regular USB port. That's the one you're going to plug it into. And then next you have an HDMI input um, and then also a touch. So uh, we're not going to use those. We're just going to use the regular black USB input. And we're going to plug this end into it. Do that right now. So that's plugged in there. Okay. And that's all you got to do with that. Next thing you're going to do is you're going to, in Promethean, you're going to open up your unified menu and go to Locker. 
Once you've gone into Locker, you're going to open up the camera app. You may be asked in the camera app to allow some kind of permission. You want to allow that. So we're going to hit allow. Um, you're also going to be maybe prompted to remember photo locations, tag your photos and videos with locations where they're taken. You can check or uncheck that depending on um, your level of paranoia. I'm going to leave that checked. And I'm going to hit next. Now, once I have done that, There we go, I just wanna make sure that you guys can see that. Once I have done that, you're gonna see that I have an image here being displayed. I'm gonna put that piece, same piece of paper underneath it and we're gonna see if that is facing the right way. And it appears that it is. Now, it's not super clear, so I'm gonna try and um, fix that. Okay, and I did that. What I did is I, um, I hit the AF button on the document camera. That stands for autofocus, not for anything else. And um, you are going to see that the picture cleared up a little bit. It is a little bit grainy because this is kind of smaller print on this piece of paper. But if you're writing out math problems or doing some hand, hand drawing, um, something like that, then it's going to be perfectly fine. And in with this particular um, with this camera when it's connected to the Promethean board. Remember I talked about the, the rotate um, button on the document camera. That's not going to work in this particular case. Um, so if it were backwards or upside down or to the side or something like that, where this is not the correct way, I'd have to physically move the document camera to face the correct direction. Okay? And you might have some wires in your way that you're going to manage. Um, just do what you need to do to make that happen and then you're good to go. Again, you can still place this on your adjustable stand um, near the Promethean board. It just needs to be plugged in there, and that's that. So those are two different ways that you can have your document camera set up. I hope you found that helpful. If you need any further assistance with document cameras or anything else you have in your technology tool belt, just let me know. Happy to help at any time. Hope you have a great day. Bye.